Well, good morning, everyone. I'm Eddie with Poor Boy's Little Homestead. If this is your first time here, thanks for dropping in. Feel free to drop in anytime, my friend. <laughs> Today, guys, we're going to talk about fertilizers. And it ain't so much as talking about fertilizers as I want to show you how you can mix your own NPK ratings of fertilizers. When you buy a bag of fertilizer, just for example, this here, this is a water soluble. It's a 958.8. That's NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Every bag is going to have that on it. Here's some tomato vegetable garden blend. You look on the back, and it says it's a, well, down here on the bottom, it's a 1205. Then I just put some in a bag here. This is triple 13. You can get triple eight, triple 13, zero 2020. Another example here, some master blend, four 1838. Again, that's nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Well, I know a lot of guys you watch videos and you see this person using this particular fertilizer with this particular numbers and you think you gotta have that particular number. Well, let me tell you, just because I use a certain fertilizer or this guy that you really love watching this homesteading videos, they use this certain fertilizer, don't mean that's the perfect fertilizer for you. It don't even mean that's the perfect fertilizer for you. Just like myself, I got raised bed gardens. Well, when I built some of them raised beds, I had some dirt brought in here, and I mixed it with some compost I had, and I filled some of them. Then later on, I built some more. Well, I had some better compost, some aged cow manure, some aged cotton gin, and I filled some of them. So both of my beds ain't going to need the same fertilizer. I may have one that needs more nitrogen. I may have the other one where it needs more phosphorus added in it. Now all this big hoorah out there nowadays about taking your soil and getting it tested. Yeah, I guess if you got plenty of money and plenty of time, but like I said, just because you take this soil from this little spot and have it test don't mean... Your other little garden over there is going to be the same soil. Or your other little raised bed is going to be the same. Unless you know you put that same dirt in each one of them. And then it still ain't 100% sure that it's the same. You can buy them little soil testing kits. And they ain't 100% going to put you to the T. But... If you have no idea or you're new in planting and you don't really know how to read your plants to see what they need, that is a good little way to start to kind of give you an idea to get you in the, in the ball game. But what I want to show you here is, is how you mix your fertilizer and come up with your numbers. A lot of people don't understand that. If you add these three numbers up on every bag, it's not going to total 100 because that's the percent of nitrogen is 12, of phosphorus is 10, and the percent of potassium is 5. Well, you got 100% in this bag, but the rest of it's just filler materials. And there's some other minerals and stuff in there, but we ain't going to go that in depth today. We're just sticking with MPK.
So therefore, I'm just going to jump right into this. Just say I got triple 13 here on hand. And if you did take your soil and you had it tested, or if you used them little soil testing kits and you tested it, and your nitrogen looks pretty good, but your middle number, that P, that phosphorus, is low, and your K, your potash, it's pretty good. Well, you like, well, I need me a fertilized it. That middle number there is higher. Well, you go to town, but you can't find none. Or you find a little bag of this, and it's like that. It's higher on nitrogen. You come across this, and there's what you're looking for. I found this, but it's way higher than what you, you don't want no 58. That's getting on up there way too high. Well, I'm going to show you how you mix this. And you calculate it out. When you start mixing your fertilizers, you got to do it in parts. It don't matter if you want to use one cup, or you want to use one bucket, or you want to use one gallon jug, or you want to use one half a cup. Whatever you do, you do each part the same. Now, I'm not going to fill this cup up to do this for examples. But I'm going to say I got triple 13 here. Better than that, guys, I went and got me a little cup because there ain't no sense in doing a lot just to prove a point. But you can, this is a, this is a part, one part. No matter what you use, whatever how much you want to mix up, but I'm just using this for an example. This is one part. So I'm going to say I'm going to get me one part of triple 13. Now I'm gonna get me one part of this 12, 10, 5. So two parts makes a whole. So what do I have now? Well, here's where a lot of people mess up. I got one part of triple 13 and one part of 12, 10, 5. You add them numbers together, you come up with 25, 23, 18. And a lot of people want to stop right there and say that's what they got. No, that ain't what they got. Because you got to remember, you mix one part of that, one part of that, so you got to divide each of these numbers by two. And once you divide them by two, what you got now mixed up is a 12.5 nitrogen, 11.5 phosphorus, and a 9 Potassium. Y'all see where I'm going with that? So we're going to do another example and move on. Alright, so say, since I already got one part of triple 13 and one part of 12, 10, 5 in here, I'm going to put B. This is going to make it two parts, triple 13. And one part of 12, 10, 5. So the same thing here. Now you write down your triple 13. I put one part. I put another part of triple 13. So now I got two parts of that. And one part of 12, 10, 5. So you add them up. That adds up to a 38, 36, 31. But you got to remember your parts. That's three parts, so you divide it by three. And I got a two right there. I had a two right there, but it's supposed to be divided by three because I got three parts. So you divide each of these numbers by three. So 38 divided by three is 12.7. 36 divided by three is 12. 31 divided by three is 10. So now I got an NPK of a 12.7, 12, 10. 12.7 nitrogen, 12 phosphorus, and 10 potassium. We're going to keep going because I got something I want y'all to show y'all. The reason you got to divide once I get up. 
to a certain point. So now, this here is water soluble fertilizer. This here is not more water soluble. But I'm using this just for an example because this is what I got on hand. So here we go again. See, and I got my master blend. But man, that 41838, I don't want a number that high. I don't need that number that high. Well, here I go, I got this here, but it's got this middle number and I don't need that number that high. So what I do, guys, I ain't gonna mix this up, but just say I, I get my one part of this master blend, put it in my bucket. I get me one part of this blooming and rooting, 958, put it in my bucket. I mix it up. Remember, we didn't want this 58 on our phosphorus, and we didn't want this 38 being that high on our potassium. So I mix one part of each. Again, add them up. It's two parts divided by two. So now we got a 6.5 by 38 by 23 MPK. Now, now see, this is where it's really showing that you can take two different fertilizers and start creating your own MPK. It really showed up on that one because I brought a high number down off of this one and a high number down off that one and lower them. Because when you do your two parts and divide it by two. And I know some of you watch some of my videos and I get aggravated with people in their fertilize and they try to make people they believe they need this certain kind of fertilizer or they need this certain kind of worm castings or they need this and they need that and i'd make the comment fertilize is fertilize is fertilize because you can do this with it you can you can make it what you need by mixing and matching Now, if this is where I'm going to show you why you don't add your numbers up and then not divide it by parts. For example purposes, I'm going to say I'm going to mix one part of Master Blend, which is 4838. And then I look at that and I'm like, nah, I'm going to make, I'm going to make two parts of this. So I put me another part in there. 41838. So I got two parts of Master Blend. I'm going to put me one part of 958.8. And then I got some over here left over. Just say, I might have got a little bag left. I might well go and mix this in there. I got me a 12.10.5. Now, guys, this is for an example. Don't mix granular with water soluble. I'm just using that for the examples because they got different numbers on them. Unless it's a granular that says it's water soluble. So now I got four parts. I know y'all getting tired of this, but you add them up. You got a 29, and here's the part I want to show you. You got a 104. Guys, that's not possible. That's why a lot of people don't get it, that you can't just add them numbers together. You can't have 104% of 100%. And then you add your last K's up and you got 89. So therefore you divide them by four. Cause remember we put two parts of the master blend. So you always got to remember if you put two parts, you got to count it as two parts. You can't count it as one just because it's one type of fertilizer. Divide it by four. And look at there. We got a 7.25. 26, 22.5. And that's where people get confused. A triple 13 fertilized only totals three times 13. The rest of it is filler materials. It's just fillers and minerals. Like I said, then you get in you get into different things with your minerals. But that's why I like adding my Epsom salt and all that separate when I'm planting. But anyway, that's going deeper in depth. 
So guys, you can go. One of my main two that I use is triple 13 and zero 2020. And this is just me. But you start out planting just say your tomatoes and stuff. I use triple 13. Sometimes I use some fish emulsion, which I use my organic rabbit poop and chicken poop and cow manure and all that. But when I do want to hit it with some fertilizer, I use the triple 13. And just say on my tomatoes, when they start blooming, I use zero 2020 because your nitrogen grows in, just basically think of it simplify it grows greens anything green your leaves and lettuce and stuff like that but when you want to grow your root stout and you want your blooms to bloom and make fruit that's where that phosphorus and potassium number needs to come up that's why this here is called a blooming and rooting it's got 58 on there that's why it's so high. But I don't like my middle number that high. I want my middle number and my potassium. I both want them higher than my nitrogen at that point, but I don't want them that high. To me, this is, this does, that high a number to me is getting up there where you want to make your roses bloom and stuff like that. And it's good for tomatoes if you don't overdo. But along with your fertilizers, you need your minerals. And one of the ones that I can't get around here and it's hard to get is sea minerals. Sea minerals has a lots of minerals in it that plants need to grow. And that's something good to put in there. Now on my tomatoes, peppers, I use calcium nitrate. That helps with the blossoming right. And I use a uh, Epsom salt. It's got a lot of good minerals in it for your plants. If you'll go back and watch some of my gardening planting videos when I'm planting, you'll see how much I put of each one as I'm planting in each hole. But guys, I hope this little video helps somebody understand fertilizers. If you understand how you can, what the numbers mean and why they don't add up to a hundred by yourself and how you can mix them and change up your numbers and create your own fertilizer out of, out of each one. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe notification bell and you'll get notifications when I post new videos. I greatly appreciate it. It helped me grow my YouTube channel. And God bless. Y'all have a great day. See y'all next time.